Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you, how to make these split transitions inside the Premiere Pro. Also, I'll provide 25 split transition presets. And these transitions are very easy to use, you just need to drag and drop them. I got a lot of questions, how did I create these split transitions? So let's get started, and create these split transitions inside the Premiere Pro. So first, import your clips to the timeline. And I would like to make the transition for 1 second. But you can make it longer or shorter as well. So cut the last 1 second in this left clip. Select this razor tool. And click here to make a cut. Again select the move tool. And duplicate this cut to the top track. Now select this top layer, and move to the Effect Controls tab. Under the Opacity effect, select the Pen tool. Now we are going to make a mask in the program window. Let's zoom in a little bit, so we make the mask properly. Now here I'm going to make the triangle mask. Also, you can try it with different shapes. Then set the mask feather 0. And copy this mask one. So right click here, and select copy. Then select the bottom cut. Now right click on the opacity, and paste it here. Now enable the inverted. So our masking is done. Now we are going to animate this mask. So we have to nest to these two layers. Right click on this layer, select nest. And click OK. Again nest this bottom layer. Then move to the Effects tab. And search for the Transform effect. Apply this effect to the both nested clips. Now select this top nested clip. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. Under the Transform effect, make a keyframe on the position. And make sure the time indicator in the first frame. Then move few frames forward. And make the position X and Y value to 0. To make this animation more smooth, set these keyframe easy in and ease out. Move this last keyframe to the end of this clip. Then disable use composition's shutter. And set the shutter angle 180 degrees. So this will add some motion blur to this animation. Again do the same thing for the bottom clip. Make keyframe on the position. Move this keyframe to the first frame. But this time, we need to double the X and Y value. Then make these keyframe ease in and ease out. And move this last keyframe to the end of this clip. Disable use composition's shutter. And set the shutter angle 180 degrees. Now fit the program window. And let's see the preview of this animation. Now move these nested clips one track above. And move the second clip, bottom of these nested sequence. We are almost done, now we need to make a little break in the middle of this transition. So move the time indicator to the center of the nested sequence. Then select the top nested clip. And make a keyframe on the position. Now click on the position drop down icon. Then pull down these two handles, just like that. Do the same thing for the bottom nested clip. And that's all for the split transition. Now let's see how to use the split transition presets. So first you have to download this transitions pack. You can download it under the description link. To import this presets pack, first open the effects tab. Now right click on the presets bin, select import presets. Then select this presets pack and click open. Now click on the presets drop down icon. And here you'll get this presets pack. Inside this pack you'll get two type of presets. Adjustment layer presets, and in out presets. First let's see how to use the adjustment layer presets. Move to the project panel. And make a new adjustment layer. Then drag and drop it to the center of the two clips. 
Now move the time indicator to the middle of the two clips. Then cut 10 frames on each side of the adjustment layer. And delete the unwanted part of the adjustment layer. Again move to the effects tab. Now choose any adjustment layer preset. And apply it to the adjustment layer. And there we go. And all of this adjustment layer presets are the same process to use. Now let's see how to use the in and out presets. Just select in preset, and apply it to the right clip. And select out preset, apply it to the left clip. So that's all for the presets, these presets are pretty easy to use. Hope that you'll enjoy this split transitions pack. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.